Barton after the loss to Lenore Ryan, and he was especially pleased with how his team practiced yesterday. And as he closed practice, he said, think about the things that you did today and try to carry them over to tomorrow. Florida Tech wearing their home white with the crimson lettering and numbering. Lynn wearing their road blue with the white lettering and numbering. And this will be going right to left on your screen here in quarter number one. We await the official signal, and we are underway here in Melbourne on this Saturday, April the 1st. And the Knights will win the faceoff. It'll be Mikey Treese, the graduate student out of Edgewater, Maryland. And the Knights will get the game. Nicky Vreeland, who recorded his first career hat trick last week against St. Leo. We see him for the first time today. Planky will play it over for Cam McKee. McKee guarded by Victor Trees. He'll make the move on him, plays it back to Nate behind the net. 23 to shoot. It's Nate being guarded heavily by Canedo. Roz over it goes for Vreeland, trying to shake Staunton. Wanted to use the screen, goes instead for Patrick Stewart. Quick passing, quick scoring. Patrick Stewart. Planky will play it over for Rosgani. Stetcher playing it over for Luke Pollock. The last time we talked, Panthers did not have either of Luke Pollock or Chandler Hake available due to injury. They both are dressed and able to play today. So we're to play it back out in the center for Noah Stetcher. Thinking about it, wanted to go on that left side. Now has the angle, and he'll beat Casey Lowe. At Angler will get the assignment here. Murray works his way into the middle. He's going to be picked up by Panchukian. They play it back out on the right for Cologne with 20 to shoot. Josephson has him. He'll fire, and another save made by Francisco. That's five out of five so far for Jax Francisco. Jax continuing to impress the sophomore from Westminster, Maryland. Along with Austin Engler. That was the three for Florida Tech. That's that correct. That was actually Patrick Stewart who had the first goal, not Blanky. Here's Stanton. First real shot of the day for him, or his second, I should say. But Brad MacArthur said he wanted to see how this team's responded, and he, and he felt like his team's done, mostly done a good job of that after losses this year. Well, that first quarter, that was something to build on. Bit of an errant pass, and Wessel gets it back. He broke it up, knocked it down, play went away from the ball. Wessel's able to get it back. He'll feel pretty good about that sequence. And Wessel's just going to take it himself. And very nearly got a solo goal. And there's Colin Stewart to finish. And there's a penalty right down for basically 90 seconds. So this will go till the 12.03 mark. To Blanky. Over it goes for Rosgani. They'll look. This is Pollock. He'll fire. He'll put it home. Luke Pollock had a chance earlier that hit the post. And I don't know if you, if you would want to do a starting lineup's worth. But Justin Williams at the very least has to be on that roster. If you, if you were going to do a, a lineup of maybe the, the 30 greatest players in Panther history, Justin Williams has to be on that list. And, of course, Zach Rosgani already there, too. This is Nicky Vreeland. He wants to join the party, and he will. Got that on the bounce. When you talk about responses, this is what it should look like. Here's Cam McKee thinking about it, firing. And I think that might have got Casey and the post. Casey's body knocked it down, and there's a nice hit from Stewart. Able to dislodge Mikey Treese. Lynn still able to play into their half, although Panchukian's got the turnover there. He's immediately hounded by Panache. And it'll be one back, and the Knights might have something here. Treese will fire, and he will beat Francisco as Mikey Treese. And Florida Tech will immediately get it back. Stewart caused it, and Rosgani tracked it down. Be an opportunity here, Ross thinking about it. Instead, he'll feed the streaking Patrick Stewart, who puts it home. That's the they want to. They know they're going to get another shot. Stetcher back to Roz and it almost sends Lynn with the idea of just shoot. Hake finding Turpak thought for a moment about taking the shot. Stetcher back over for Pollock. 15 on the shot clock. Spitting away from Murray. Pollock firing, and he will beat the new Lynn goalie in that it's tripped as he fired. No call. And it'll be even fighting night ball. And it won't be able to run the clock all the way down, but they'll be pretty close. And it goes. Treese 
Playing it ahead for Colliver, the freshman from Bristow, Virginia. It's met by Panchukian. Crossfield pass goes to Mikalski. Gary Lazito picks him up, and now Nostos. He's by him, and he'll beat Francisco to put it home. Murray. Thinking about it, plays it over for Cologne. That'll set up Farragher. Gets by Nostos. That'll set up Cologne. Looking on the right here, it's Murray. You don't want to give him a lot of room. He beats Francisco at his near post. And final 30. Boy, Balch doing everything he can against Steven Becker. And work over for Jackson Cutter. With it here is Farragher. It's going to be met by Josephson. He's already made his impact this half. Working by him. Oh, and that would have been a doorstep opportunity, and it does find a way through. By the way, that goal for Thomas Murray, by the way, prior to that was his 11th. Moranto wins the faceoff, and Tech might get one more shot. It goes to Rosgani. They try to play it back through, and they will. Nate DePlanke puts it home. A tremendous team. He had a, a season-high 16 last Saturday at St. Leo. Now work it around. Cologne, back over for Stanton. A little two-man game working here. Murray, almost 20 yards from goal. Mikowski works it back for Cologne. Yaku there with him. They got some space there for Stanton. And that is an incredibly tough angle for Stanton. And, and they had just 6-1 today. For Florida Tech, in terms of the face-off one, don't have that. More importantly, we didn't have the ball as we come up on the final minute of play in the third quarter. Firing and scoring, final 15. The Panthers looking to close out what will be their fifth victory of the campaign. And Lynn have dominated faceoffs today, and they get another one there, and they'll score almost instantly. It's Steven Becker, the Knights' leading scorer. Rasgani. Here's Turpak making the run into the middle, and he'll beat Suits. Jacob Turpak, you knew was going to find a way to get on the score sheet today. Couldn't have found a over the past few game minutes. This is Murray. Thought about it. Wessel was shadowing him. They'll lay it off for Farragher. Trying to get by Kennedy. Plenty of contact there. They'll feed Mikowski, who's trying to get the hat trick. Way instead for Becker. The pass will go to Houston. We'll put it home. Who's got his second of the game on that left side. Now behind the net to Becker. They faked the pass. Tried to beat Francisco. And for the briefest of moments, I thought that had gone in. Instead, it caught the side netting. Lynn will keep possession. 48 to shoot. 11.56 to play. Murray going to Houston. And that'll find a way home. And the Knights have come all the way back. Left to play. And there's haven't had an overtime game since senior day last year. When Zach Rosgani's hat trick beat Florida Southern. Hopefully it won't have to come to that today. This is Stetcher. And the pass intended for DePlanke was deflected. Nate gets it anyway. He'll fire and he'll beat Suits on the nutmeg. I think gets by Young for the moment. 23 to shoot. Inside six minutes. This is Downey trying to shake Wessel. The lane closes off thanks to Panchukian. 15 on the shot clock. Back for Mikowski. Young is there. Trying to spin away from him. Yakub will pick it up. They work it around the net. Becker trying to find back and they score. And it'll be a goal for Dylan Cologne to tie this game. And over it goes. Bit of a high pass. Cowan had to leave his feet to get that. 25 to shoot. 238 to play. Stewart. Back out it goes for Turpak. And now Pollock. This is to Planky. 14 to shoot. Back over it goes to Roz. Being heavily guarded here by Pod Milsack. Eight to shoot, and a chance here, and a goal! Colin Stewart on the feed from DePlanke. Brett Nostos is with him. Actually, no, it's gonna be Murray to bring it back in on the left. Kennedy with him. Playing it into the center. Kennedy is there, and over it goes to Stanton. And now Houston. Here's Mikowski, Riley Wagner with him. Inside 20 seconds. Back to Stanton, and now it's Thomas Murray with Nostos with him. Murray making the run on the left. Can't find the angle he wants. We come up on 10 seconds. Stanton fires and we're tied. Beat Jacks Francisco, upper left corner. Gani getting the hat trick winner in overtime. Jack Moranto to face off against Michael Miacic. 
and Jack will win it. It is a four minute period. It is a golden goal rule. Next goal wins it. And if we don't have a winner after the first four minutes, we'll do it again. Florida Tech will get the first opportunity to win this. Big sequence. Chance to get back to 500 in conference play and pick up what would be their fifth win overall of the season. Chance here to Planky looking for Zach Rosgani and he's got it! There is your winner! What a goal from Zach Rosgani! The only goal he had on the day, the only one he needs, the Panthers win it! 34 seconds into overtime, 13 to 12! 